let us understand how to draw pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram for the air standard cycles in these cycles air is used as a working medium first we will take carnot cycle now during the process 1 to 2 heat rejected to the sink from working medium so we know that the working medium used as a air now heat is rejected from air to the sink so this sink is always at the lower temperature so we will first take here the pressure volume that is p v and temperature entropy that is t s now before drawing the diagram pressure volume and temperature entropy we will understand what will happen when the heat rejected to the sink from the air during the heat rejection process so if we observe this is isothermal process that means temperature will remain constant so we have to show here temperature t will remain constant now the heat is rejected so during the heat rejection process entropy will always decrease so this entropy s will be getting decreased so i will show arrow in the downward direction now what is the effect on this volume during the heat rejection so when the heat is rejected then there is the expansion in the air is taking place so we can say that this volume is getting decreased so we have to show the volume v is getting decreased and what is the effect on the pressure as the volume is getting decreased so this pressure and volume are always opposite to each other so remember when the volume decreases pressure increases and when the volume increases pressure decreases so here decrease in volume that means increase in pressure so we have to show here p is getting increased now we have to show all these parameters so process 1 to 2 so we have to first select the point 1 which is at lower temperature so if we observe this is the temperature that is vertical line so we have to show at this downward direction here is the point 1 now first we will draw the pressure volume diagram so volume is getting decreased so this is the point one so we have to show decrease in volume but pressure is getting increased so this is the decrease in volume so this is the higher volume and here is the lower volume but pressure is increased so we have to show some increase in pressure now we will connect these two points we will show arrow also and this is the isothermal process that means temperature will remain constant now we will show this process on temperature entropy diagram so temperature will remain constant and the entropy decreases so here this is the higher entropy point and this is the lower entropy point and we have to show constant temperature so here is the point 2 so here we will say t1 is equal to t2 we will show arrow also this is the direction of the process so this process 1 to 2 is getting completed now we will move to the process 2 to 3 that is reversible adiabatic process so here during the reversible adiabatic process no heat exchange is taking place from the system to the surrounding that means from this air there is no heat transferred from the air to the surrounding or from surrounding to the air so this is known as reversible adiabatic process so working medium is compressed that means compression process is taking place so what is happening during the compression process so whenever the compression of air is taking place internal heat is generated and this heat is getting increased that means temperature is getting increased so we will say that temperature is getting increased then what will happen to the pressure and volume so here 
because of the compression process so when the working medium is getting compressed that means its volume is getting decreased so i will show here this is the point 2 and again the volume is getting decreased so as the volume is getting decreased we know that pressure is getting increased so we have to show increase in pressure and this is the uh, there is no any heat exchange is taking place so we can say that when the no heat exchange from system to the surrounding or surrounding to the system at that point this entropy will remain constant so this is the room uh, rule so we will say that this entropy s will remain constant now we will show all this process so first volume is getting decrease that means point 3 with decrease in volume and pressure is getting increased so this is the pressure p2 so we have to show increase in pressure so we will show here the point 3 and volume is getting decreased so here is the lower volume than this point 2 so we will join this we will show here the point 3 now we will show entropy will remain constant and then temperature is increased so we have to show increase in temperature with constant entropy so here is the point 3 so if we observe for point 2 and 3 this entropy is constant and here is the temperature t3 now we will move to the next process 3 to 4 heat transferred from high temperature source to the working medium so what is the effect on these parameters when heat is transferred from high temperature source to the working medium so here this is isothermal process so this heat transfer process is isothermal process so this temperature will remain constant now what is happening heat is transferred so whenever the heat is getting transferred that time the volume is getting increased so we have to show the volume is getting increased that is the expansion in the air is taking place and then what is the effect on pressure so opposite we have to show when volume increase pressure decreases so we have to show decrease in pressure and then what is the effect on this entropy s so whenever the heat addition process is taking place entropy increases so we have to show increase in entropy that is we have to show arrow in the upward direction now we will show these processes volume decreases pressure increases so here is the decrease in volume increases so we have to show increase in volume but pressure decreases so we have to show the point for we decrease in pressure so i will show here mm. now if we observe this is point 4 is in the downward direction because of this point 3 and here is the point 4 so volume is getting increased and pressure p3 is here and p4 is in the downward direction so pressure is getting decreased now we will move to the ts diagram so temperature remain constant and entropy increases so we have to show increase in entropy so here is the point 4 so here t3 is equal to t4 then next is process 4 to 1 reversible adiabatic process this time we have to say that working medium is expanded that is the expansion process is taking place so whenever the working medium is expanded that means volume is getting increased so we have to show increase in volume then we can say pressure is getting decreased so both are opposite to each other now this is reversible adiabatic process so this adiabatic process no heat exchange is taking place to the system to the surrounding or from surrounding to the system so 
this entropy s will remain constant so we have to show s is equal to constant then what is the effect on temperature so whenever this working medium is expanded its a temperature is decreased so we have to show decrease in temperature now we will draw the diagram so volume decreased and pressure volume increased and pressure decreased so this is the point 4 here is the point 4 and here is the point 1 so here is increase in volume and pressure decreases so p4 and p1 so p1 is less than p4 so we will join this so here is slightly curved so this diagram is completed now entropy will remain constant and temperature decreases so we have to show this so this is the pv and ts diagram for the carnot cycle